I think it was worth it. I think these came out so cute and they taste delicious. So we're going to start off by lining any type of cooling dish with foil and then lightly coating with coconut oil. I like to use a paper towel to do this because I feel like it helps coat the foil just a little more evenly because we do not want any sticking. <laughs> Very important that you have all your ingredients ready. So we're going to measure out two cups of white sugar and separately three tablespoons of sugar and get one and a half tablespoons of powdered pectin. This was on the bottom shelf in the grocery store if you're looking for it. A quarter cup of light corn syrup. Probably use this spatula to get it all out. Two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. This was about half a lemon for me. Off to the stove. Now put a pot of boiling water on the stove and add in your peaches. Make sure they're submerged and fully covered by the water as much as you can. Put a top on if they don't. And then let them boil for about 30 seconds to a minute and immediately put them in a bowl of ice cold water. So now is when you cut on your favorite Netflix show and relax in a comfy chair because you'll be peeling off all of the peach skins from ice cold water with your bare fingers. Really channel your inner patient self. Keep going, you got it, it'll be so worth it in the end. If you get tired of using your fingers, go for a peeler. I did it, it works too. Once you've skinned all of your peaches like in some crazy horror film, just cut them in half and take the seeds out. Now transfer your peaches to your blender and blend until nice and smooth like my voice <laughs> get all the pulp out just use a strainer over a bowl and pour the mixture in there and realize that you have too big of a bowl transfer to a smaller one and just keep swirling until you have all of the mixture through your sieve if you don't have a fine mesh sieve just use a coffee filter over a regular strainer and that should work just fine <laughs> you can see there's a quite a bit of hole left behind. Back to the stove. Now you're going to bring your mixture to a simmer. Once your mixture is simmering, you want to add your sugar and your pectin and stir to combine. And then add the remaining three tablespoons of sugar and stir to combine. Now bring to a boil. Once your mixture is boiling, add your corn syrup. Now insert your candy thermometer. This is imperative to the recipe because with making any kind of candy, you do want to make sure it reaches the right temperature. So now you're really, really going to test your patience because you are going to constantly stir this mixture while it is boiling until it reaches 230 degrees Fahrenheit. This took about 30 minutes of constant stirring, but it was worth it. When stirring a boiling mixture that consists of mainly sugar, you want to be very, very careful. I don't know if you can see, but I made sure to wear an oven mitt while I stirred this. I did not want the splattering out of the pot onto my hand because, ouch, that would not have felt good. You can see I started with a whisk when I was including all of the ingredients just to make sure they're thoroughly combined in the mixture. And then as my mixture started boiling, I switched to a rubber spatula to make sure that as I'm scraping the pan, I'm really making sure that there is no burning or any sticking.
Either my pan was not tall enough or my thermometer clip just wasn't long enough, but I had a lot of trouble stirring this with my thermometer. So really, just work with what you've got. I might need to get a new one because this kept falling into the pan. It was quite a hassle. You want to make sure you're giving your mixture its undivided attention. This is your Valentine's Day date. I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it. It's going to be worth it. But this is your baby for right now. Have to pay attention. Give it all the love you can give. Don't look away for a second. That's when. As you can see, as it's boiling, it starts to crystallize on the sides of the pan. And you wanna make sure that this does not burn. So I am constantly, constantly scraping the sides so it doesn't scalp and burn because no one wants burnt candy. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. We've hit 230 degrees, woo! So now, we're going to immediately cut our heat and add our lemon juice and stir. Since our mixture is still hot, I mean, it was 230 degrees, it is very runny and liquidy, but trust me, as it cools down, it will set and it will get to that gummy texture that you're expecting from a peach ring. Take your beautiful mixture and pour it onto your prepared cooling dish from earlier. See, this is why it's important to have everything ready from the start. My dish was probably a little too big. I didn't have quite enough mixture to fill the entire thing. So just try to get it to the desired thickness. Now is when you can go sit on your couch, put your feet up for four hours while this cools. Just use whatever tools I had at home. I have these soda stream bottles that I use the caps of, or you can use a water bottle. And then I have these little melon ballers, which I use to create the inside holes. So this is really a recipe that you make for someone that you love. Could be for yourself, could be for your mama, could be for your boo, could be for anybody, your best friend, but you put a lot of care and time into this. But it's so worth it. They came out so good in the end. Take your bottle top and pierce it into the mixture to create a perfect circle. And then I used a little paring knife to lift it from the foil because even though I did line it with coconut oil, it's still slightly sticky. And then I used the melon baller to create the inside hole and then just remove that from there. And then continue on until you've done it all. This is what it looks like once I finished. And don't throw away the pieces that aren't perfect circles. You can eat those for yourself if you're giving the rest of them to someone else, or I mean, give them those too. Candy's candy. I mean, enjoy them yourself. You need a treat for making all of these. And then the fun part, taking every peach ring and just coating it in sugar. I put about two cups of sugar on a plate and then took each one and coated it. I'm not going to lie, I think throughout this entire process, I probably finished either half or an entire Netflix show. But, I mean, whatever. Guys, these came out so perfect. I am so proud. So proud of these. It's my first time making candy and oh my gosh, just look at them. Oh, they look so professional. I'm giving myself a pat on the back.
Alright guys, I really hope you like this video and I hope you guys try out this recipe. But if you do, I just want you guys to be extremely careful because when making this, the sugar is extremely hot. I had to wait for it to get to 230 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very hot. So just be careful when making this recipe. I don't want you guys to get burned. I want you guys to stay nice, beautiful, and glowing. They're really good and the peach flavor is really strong and they're sugary and candy. I mean, can you go wrong with candy, honestly? But anyway, I hope you guys liked it and if you did, give it a thumbs up because it really does support my channel. And in the comment section below, let me know how it went for you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I upload every week and I want you guys to become a part of the Dash family. So stay tuned for your next weekly Dash of Dags. Bye guys! If you like it, then you should have put a peach ring on it.